What's up world? Let me tell you about this beer growth oil I got from 12 tribes on earth. Eight ounces of oily goodness with a nozzle that prevents sprays and spills and soft ingredients that make it perfect addition to anyone's morning routine. From coconut to castor, all these oils are hand chosen. After using this herbal blend, the biggest thing I noticed is how soft, how strong my hair was and how good I feel. Pick up your bottle today and make your beard the star of the show. I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Adrian Thomas, for this story. Y'all, this is a scam even the banks can't control. And right now, the hackers are definitely prevailing in this scam. So what they do is they use AI to impersonate a person's voice. For years, you know, we know about deep fakes of politicians, celebrities, even the late Pope to spread misinformation on social media. Lately, hackers have been able to deep fake people like you and me. All they need is a few seconds of your voice, which they might find on social media, or they can even be standing next to you and picking up your voice as you're talking on the phone. So it's many ways they can get your voice. So <clears throat> what they do is once they have your voice, they generate it and make a phone call to the bank. So when they call the bank, it sounds like a human voice. So mm -mm. It's a trained voice generator. And, you know, you can get this for a few dollars. It's really easy to get. Or you can get one of the text to voice software that they have out here. And once you have that, you can now literally use that AI voice to speak to the bank. So over the course of a five minute call first with the automated system then a human representative and they said even after a representative gets on the phone they don't suspect nothing because it sounds like a real human voice that they're listening to it's a tactic scammers are increasingly adopting. They take advantage of cheap, wide available, generative AI um, tools to deep fake people and gain access to their bank accounts or even open bank accounts in someone else's name. These deep fakes are not only getting easier to make, but also getting harder to detect. So a year ago, a financial worker in Hong Kong mistakenly paid out $25 million to scammers after they deep faked the company's chief financial officer and other staff members on a video call. Wow. Wow. But you know what? They're right. If you can get on the phone and pretend to be somebody, it may be very easy for you to move money around. You know, mm, this is not good. So y'all, they're saying that scams like this could actually reach amounts like $40 billion by 2027, just using this particular scam. And they said it would be a jump from the $12.3 billion that they already get right now. Mm -mm -mm. So Accenture surveyed 600 cybersecurity executives at banks. 80% of them did respond 
And they do believe that AI was ramped up by hackers to make the abilities faster than banks could respond. So <clears throat> these scammers can take this tool and target accounts on a massive scale. Yeah, they could. You know, all they would have to do is use an AI voice and use different ones when calling the bank. So yeah, they could probably empty out massive amounts of accounts just doing this voice on the phone, this AI voice. If they can automate fraud, they can use every single tool in addition to stealing your voice, your image, they can use an AI um, generate. They can also, they saying, use AI to falsify documents. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can see that happening too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, if they can generate a voice and image, yes, they can also do false documents either to steal an identity or make an entirely new one, fake one to open accounts for funneling money. So the scammers are playing a numbers game. Even when a financial institution block them, they can try another account, another voice, another bank, right? So by automating the attempts, the hackers don't have to be outright uh, often, you know, easy to detect or, you know, you won't be able to really detect a human being at all. So if they are, think about it, if they are using an AI voice, how would they identify, not unless there are other things they can point to, you know, um, because, you know, if they can generate a phone number, generate a voice, how do you really find out who's behind it? You know, it would be, I'm sure you could probably find out, but it would be tough. You know, it would not be easy to do. So the attackers don't have to be right very often to do well. And they don't care about going after only the richest people, scamming a lot of people out of small accounts, uh, amounts of money um, may be even more lucrative over time. Yeah, you know, so they're pretty much trying to go after these rich people and their money. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. So the average online scam in 2024 came out to be just under $20,000 across more than 250,000 complaints the FBI received from people of all ages. Those over 60, um, they had the most complaints and had the biggest losses. But even people under 20 lost a combined amount of $22.5 million. Everybody is equally a target. Wow. Some banks also tried to get ahead of the deep fake problem in the past few years, while others didn't see it as a pressing issue. Now, more and more are using software to protect their clients. A 2024 survey of business executives who work across the industry, not just in banking, found that more than 10% had faced uh, an attempt or a successful deep fake fraud. More than half said that their employees had not been trained to identify or address such attacks. Yeah. Wow. So apparently, y'all, this is happening at all banks are dealing with this. And they said it is rapidly evolving and can exploit, be exploited by bad actors. 
Wow. I mean, this is something. But, you, you know, you got to think about this. I bet more than likely they get away with something like this more often than they get caught. You know, I guess if the person or representative that get the call don't have a good ear for an AI sounding voice, yeah, it probably would get past them. But some people really are good at picking up on some of these things. I know sometimes when I'm listening to videos, you, I mean, you can tell which voice is AI when you listen to videos online. I always know when I'm hearing an AI voice on a video, you know, but some people that are not really well seasoned at something like that, they probably would be an easy target for these hackers to get whatever they want out of them. So, you know, these hackers, if they go, they may be going after some banks now, but you think one day they won't go after the Federal Reserve and go bigger and better and and be taking billions and billions of dollars all at once as this evolved they actually might be able to do it so apparently y'all this is not something that's just limited to the u.s i was looking at another article this is actually an international cyber crime that's going on and, you know, law enforcement agencies, they're aware of it, but even they're saying in this instance, it's more difficult to break up these crime rings that are doing this, that are operating undetected. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't have to ever use their real number. And if they're not using a real voice, it, yeah, I can see how it is very hard to detect these folks that are doing this. So y'all, please be careful out there. You know, it's a lot of people doing some scammy things out here nowadays. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.